guys thanks for watching here i'm melky and i'm playing world of vision right now um let i'm going to do various stuff in the game but i have an internet problem you know it's so slow as you guys could see 12 million deals that is nice uh so probably i'm going to do some shopping uh some kind of shards collecting there's a new event going on there's marshery queen of horn uh probably you guys haven't watched orange jay's video i want to do that if you guys have watched it uh, and you saw something that i do that is different from him please let me know because i want to know my mistakes and stuff um okay i'm going to collect uh, the items that i have that i still need to buy uh some items i already have a lot so i wouldn't buy them uh some items i still need and i'm going to buy them ice brand is something that i haven't had i know this item has been available in the game for a while now but i still haven't had it i think i've played for two years you know i have i have a moment some moments where i stopped playing for a bit um uh, but you know um uh, it has been a nice two years uh they their updates and their um, characters and their stories it's just so worth it um, I usually also pay but not because not just because I want the item but mainly because I want to give thanks to the game uh, for accompanying me so you know uh, so this is the state of my account here um, I have a lot of gills that is from investment in the tokens uh, just spending like one dollar a day really helps it really boosts um what kind of uh, exploration or adventure for uh, adventure aspects in the game it gives you materials that are much needed and <laughs> it doesn't mean that if you are free to play you wouldn't be able to do a lot in the game the opposite the games has a lot to offer but sometimes it's really frustrating waiting for a while in order to make some progress in the game uh, gotta admit that if I didn't spend some some uh, actual currency in the game I wouldn't be in where I am right now I probably would have been focusing on different stuff already I wouldn't be focusing on unit a lot probably would be focusing on physio vision cards and equipments more and you know what guys let me show you here all of, oh <sighs> okay I, I think i've made a mistake before but you know what let's move on uh i got a lot of unit guys and i ended up not using some of these guys i felt bad for it because take a look at this like terra i should have used her more Charlotte Ellen should have used her more Oberon also and I always found Lucio also is a very good character I found myself using a lot of this uh, water element and lightning element um, if I spend the resources focusing just on lightning and water I would have had characters that are really really strong but I am not really that strong in the arena I only rank both 5,000 at most I haven't got a chance to be um, at the top 10 uh, yeah get my so if, if you are free to play you definitely have have a like I think you can do a, you can make a lot better decision than mine and you would enjoy the game a lot um, but I do think I've made some good decisions for example having Lara Croft here having the Final Fantasy 7 characters right here I'm not saying that my account is bad but it's just that if I am smarter I can make a better a better account <laughs> um, okay I think the internet is imp has improved right now so let's go into a battle here Okay, Marjorie Queen of Horns starter quest a new character here 
and I this is like an introduction quest to the character we're supposed to use her and be able to perform some achievements um, defeat three enemies simultaneously use her limit burst I think the Queen's Gambit is her limit burst and and, and you know uh, and usually um, what do I want to say it's not straightforward this this introduction introduction battle there's a chance that you would lose in the first try I don't want to lose in the first try though but let's see okay I got here uh, will me. a horn soldier let me check the soldier a little bit a little bit um, only 49 health okay I think this is a bait so Marjorie of Horn, take a look at her skills. Glimmer of Conviction would destroy any barrier that reduces magic damage. So for example, Paladin character would be uh, weak against her if she used that ability. But Stalls protects on allies within a area around cell for 3 turns. So a lot of protect. I think it's an instant cast as well, Queen's Edict. Law of Fortitude recovers HP of ally and raises all elemental resistance. So this is like a very strong support ability for tanks. Chance of inflicting stop on targets within the range. Okay, halting force. So that is a, a TP skill that's going to increase AP, but also an attack. The stalls re-raise. This is a very good a skill to have on arena. Um, yeah, raises on CTs after re reviving with re-raise and significantly reduces attack activity, attack ability activation time for three turns. Wow! So this is like um, mage mages re-raise. Disparage lowers target spirit for three turns, then deals damage small based on uh, caster's magic stat. So not only it deals small damage, but it also reduces. Spirit Raises on spirit piercing rate, then deals high accuracy damage to target based on caster's magic stat and fills portion of evocation gauge. So, if you you would have a strong esper on this on in, or in your team, and this character would would be boosting that um, that uh, evocation acquisition. A uh, combo two of this skill together is really good. Like enemies spirit uh, defense would be reduced as well as our own spirit penetration would be released uh, would be would be increased um, if on the first glance I would use this one first evocative vestige and then disparage but some people might have different strategy last but not least Queen Gam Queen's Gambit here lower earth resistance of targets within range for three turns and deal large damage based on caster's magic stat so earth resistance reduced first and then um, Okay, let's go. Um, glimmer of Confiction. That is area of effect attack. Is there is there is there a unit kind of damage dealing stuff? Evocative prestige. Let's do that. Okay, three enemies. Four, ooh, four. So many, so many. There's Uni also. There's Selke also. Woo! Okay, I'm I'm going to use the limit burst here, Queen's Gambit. I think my positioning is a little bit bad. Let's do the Queen's Gambit on this position. Still not good enough. Um. Whoa, whoa, whoa! Wait a minute. It's tricky. It's tricky. So I have to take this in order to hit everyone. Okay, let's do this. <laughs> Wow. Oh, oh, oh. oh I knew it was going to be a trap. I knew it. Ah Okay, I'm going to take the thing. What is Your the bonus? Is Bravery up. Hmm. Okay, let me use Glimmer of Confiction. Let's use that. Try to endure. Like I imagine if I go and fight this as a cloud user, 
I would be so scared. I would be so scared of this character. I would have to turn off Soldiers of Honor and focus on area attack resistance like what was that um, area attack resistance buff and after that probably going to use area attack resistance uh, card luckily I have that from Persona okay let's see what's the reward here I I, I finished it but I'm worried now Hell, a 3 large 20 skip uh, event and stories and as well as JP very nice, very nice. <laughs> okay, what am I going to do now? This is a very strong unit, guys. If you pull for her, like, there's a lot of clout currently in the game. A lot of clout in the guild battle, a lot of clout in arena. Cloud is everywhere. With this character and also Sazan, that is becoming very strong right now with his second mastery, you can obliterate a lot of enemies. This is so strong. She's she's so strong. Um, all right, let's do a sum. Let's do some summoning here and move on to uh, a different part of the game. Sorry for the internet that is really acting up, guys. Um, you can collect her shards for free. Woo, let's do that. Let's do that. Um, this is going to be twenty-five million gil summoning. There's a chance of acquiring other characters, but the guaranteed shard would be Marjorie. 10 of her shards, so that would be 500 Fizier's Ward. This is a rainbow rainbow shards right here at the end. So that is an extra bonus for me. I got Sephira already maxed, so I don't really need their shards. I got Drand uh, shards, which is I'm not going to max, so yeah, it's nice, but not, uh, but just nice next what is this how let now i got an improvement for my account a delightful bonus along the way and 25 million gills is a bargain for in exchange for 500 physios worth of item should i try to pull for queen marjorie though so if you want to pull check out orange J's video channel on recommendation on how to pull her uh, there's going to be a PT, obviously, if you collect the 2,000 medals on her um, on her banners, you would be able to get her for certain, for a 100% chance, using the 2,000 two, medals. See more unit shard. There's also a quarter chance, or 25% chance, after you perform 6 times in a specific banner, in a in one specific banner, which, which is... Mm, the, you, they have, you have a lot of banners where you could pull for her, if I'm not mistaken, there are four types. One specific banner have that, uh, have that chances. So if you want to pursue that, don't pull from other banners. Just from that, six times you would have 25% chance. Okay, last but not least, a guaranteed. It is nice to have Seymour along the way. And then after that, I got who? Who do I have to howlet along the way? But this is the highlight of this type of pool here: Marjorie of Horns shards, 500 fissures worth, 10 of them. Oh, I got Ildira! I got Ildira as well. Wow! Now this is the shard. I got 10 of this. So that's 500 fissures worth. Okay, okay, I think that's it for this video. Thank you very much for watching. Uh, goodbye for now.